Learn oil field stuff. Hey there! Welcome back to Learn Oil Field Stuff, the ultimate channel for all things related to the oil and gas industry. Our expert team is dedicated to bringing you informative articles in a fun and engaging way. So, if you're ready to take your knowledge of the oil field to the next level, hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. In today's video, we're going to show you how the hoisting system works on a drilling rig, and why it is so important for drilling operations. The hoisting system is the part of the rig that does the heavy lifting. It can lift and lower the drill string, which is the long pipe that drills into the ground. And it can also lift and lower casing and tubing, which are the pipes that line the well and transport fluids. The hoisting system can handle loads from 100,000 pounds to over 2 million pounds, depending on the size and type of the rig. That's like lifting a whole blue whale, or a Boeing 747. So how does the hoisting system work? Well, it consists of several components that work together to create a block and tackle system. A block and tackle system is a simple machine that uses pulleys and ropes to multiply the force applied to an object. You may have seen this kind of system in movies where pirates use it to raise their sails or lower their anchors. On a drilling rig, the block and tackle system is much bigger and more complex, but it works on the same principle. The main components of the hoisting system are the derrick or mast. This is the tall steel tower that rises above the rig floor and supports the hoisting equipment. It also provides stability to the rig and stores drill pipe in stands. The crown block. This is a set of pulleys or sheaves that are mounted at the top of the derrick. The crown block works with the traveling block to form the block and tackle system. The traveling block. This is another set of pulleys or sheaves that moves up and down along the derrick. The traveling block supports the hook, which connects to the swivel and the drill string. The hook. This is a device that hangs from the traveling block and allows for rotation of the swivel and the drill string. The hook can also latch onto different tools and equipment that are used in drilling operations. The swivel. This is a device that connects the hook to the drill string and allows for rotation of the drill string while maintaining a seal for fluid circulation. The swivel also transfers weight from the drill string to the hook. The draw works. This is a large winch that reels in or out a high-strength steel cable called the drilling line. The drawworks controls the movement of the traveling block and thus the drill string. The drawworks also has a braking system that controls the weight on bit, which is how much force is applied to the drill bit at the bottom of the well. The weight indicator. This is a device that measures how much weight is on the hook and displays it on a gauge on the driller's console. The weight indicator helps the driller adjust the weight on bit and optimize the rate of penetration. The drilling line. This is a high-strength steel cable that runs from the drawworks through the crown block and down to the traveling block several times. The more times the drilling line runs between the blocks, the more weight the hoisting assembly can handle, but at the expense of slower movement. The Dead Man Anchor The Dead Man Anchor is an anchoring system used to tie down the drill line and measure the load suspended from the traveling block. Now that you know what each component does, let's see how they work together to lift and lower. The Drill String Imagine you are on a drilling rig and you want to lower some drill pipe into the well. Here are the steps you would follow. Step 1. 
You stop the rotary table. Pick up the Kelly until the connection at the bottom of the Kelly Saver Sub is above the rotary table, and stop pumping. Step 2. You set the drill pipe slips in the rotary table to support the weight of the drill string. You then break the connection between the Kelly Saver Sub and first joint of pipe, and unscrew the Kelly. Step 3. You swing the Kelly over to the next joint of drill pipe which is stored in the mouse hole, an opening through the floor near the rotary table. Step 4. You stab the Kelly into the new joint, screw it together and use tongs to tighten the connection. Step 5. You lift the Kelly and new joint out of the mouse hole and swing the assembly back to the rotary table. Step 6. You connect the new drill pipe into the drill pipe above the rotary table. Step 7. You run the string down and drill ahead. To raise some drill pipe out of the well, you would do the opposite. Step 1. You stop the rotary and pumping. Lift the Kelly until the bottom connection is above the rotary table. Set the slips, break out the Kelly and swivel, and set them back in the rat hole. Step 2. You lift the drill pipe until a stand is exposed above the rotary table, and break the connection at the rotary table. Step 3. You move the stand of drill pipe away from the rotary table and arrange it in an orderly fashion in the pipe setback area. And folks, that is how. The hoisting system works on a drilling rig. It's a simple but powerful machine that enables drilling operations to take place thousands of feet below the surface. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more drilling related content. Questions? Do you have any questions about drilling? Leave them in the comments section below and we will try to answer them. Until then, stay curious and keep drilling.